Hi, I'm Sherman with Highland Park Lapidary, and I'm going to show you what your freestanding Everclean pump for an ultrasonic drill should be performing like, just in a bucket of water. Um, some people had questions about uh, how much flow you should see. So if you look down here, kind of keep that camera up so there's enough that you can see. It comes out good. It's going to get out good. So you can see with that little fitting on there, I got a hell of a lot of flow. Um, this pump is run underwater for a while so there's a bad bearing in it but nonetheless you can see it works great um, so I'm gonna unplug this and show you a couple things about the pump so if you look at the pump here uh, this one's been used for some time you see that there's no seal down here doesn't need a seal at the bottom that's where the impeller is there's a seal up top here. You'll see this is rubber one. Some of the pumps have this rubber one. Most of them just have this one up top. That's all you really need. That, all that does is that the spinner keeps the water from working up into that lower bearing. Now, since this pump ran sideways underwater for a while, the bearings are a little bit rough, but it's rebuildable. You can completely rebuild the pump. We sell a rebuild kit that's a new shaft, new bearings, new rubber seals, new impeller. Now, if you have problems with flow out of your pump, first things to check is pull this cover off here. Bring right in. So there's three screws. You're gonna pull this cover off. Now, if your screws are getting corroded, use some liquid wrench before you attempt to take them off, or you're gonna strip this Phillip head. Um, uh, so liquid wrench on those, let it loosen up, pull those screws off. When you put it back together, you could use the same screws if you're you know, kind of nifty. Go put some stainless steel screws in it. Um, the supplier I get these from doesn't put that in here. Typically they're run in an oil bath, uh, but we're using them for water. Um, you'll take your impeller off underneath here. There's a bolt that holds that um, so that you can pull that impeller. Um, and you can use a channel locks or something on this shaft to just hold it so you can undo that bolt. Make sure there's no obstructions underneath there. Remove the fitting here. Make sure there's no obstructions in the middle over there. Sometimes you'll get a chip that gets sucked up big enough to go through here, gets sucked up and plugs that fitting on the inside. I've seen it happen more than once. Check that, make sure that that's clear. So undo the bolt, take that off and do that. Likewise, uh, on your ultrasonic drill, let's just walk over to this one here. Um, the other things to check on your drill is Make sure that this is not obstructed. This is that sprayer thing. Make sure that's not obstructed in there. There's no obstructions through the ball valve in here. You should be able to blow air through that just fine. Um, those are the things you want to look for on that. Now, some people have found they get a little bit better flow by putting a bigger hose on it. I, I'm, I'm playing around with that a little bit myself, but too big of a hose, I know sometimes you don't get as good of a grip flow. So um, that should give you just a couple of tips there. Hey, thanks for watching today. If you like what you see, click the like button. Uh, subscribe if you want to get more videos like this. And down below in the description, you'll find a link that goes to our website. It goes to also what we showed you today, more information about that. And leave comments. If there's things that you like, there's things that you want us to do more on, if there's videos that you want us to shoot that we haven't shot, we're very open to that. We're really looking for ways to help you be successful in your endeavors with the tools and technologies that we create, as well as any other aspect of the hobby.